Michael James, one of the toughest football players you're ever going to come across, and he displayed that on a very soggy night at Stanford. Look at LaMichael James just dance around with no issue. That's Stanford. You expect the home team to be on their feet. They're the ones flopping all over the field. LaMichael like a gazelle, like a little deer, cutting to the right, to the left. Watch how many Stanford guys, that's their home stadium, are slipping and sliding all over the place. And then you got LaMichael just dancing around, field conditions, no problem. And I would bet Jim Harbaugh, the coach of the 59ers that drafted LaMichael in the second round, watched this game closely. It was a huge national game in LaMichael's shine, showing that big play ability that led him to shatter all of Oregon's all-time rushing records. Hey, Duck fans. Kurt here. Well, I didn't have a video vlog last week, but I do have an excuse. One, it's been incredibly busy here at fishduck.com. But also, I was out of town all last weekend attending a wedding up in Portland. Now, I did put together a little video for the wedding, by the way, and thank you very much to the 17 Oregon Ducks football players who helped out for that video. It went over better than I could have ever imagined. The bride and groom loved it. You can actually check out the footage of that special tribute to the bride and groom in the Fish Duck forum. There's a thread there called Ducks Wedding Video that has the videos. Or you can click here to watch it. Or you can also click here to watch the video filmed live at the reception with all the crowd laughing and cheering and just having a blast. So check it out. Anyway, let's get on to the duck news. So there was some Oregon news this past week, despite no active Oregon sports going on right now. There's a lot of athletes that are in Eugene right now training for their upcoming seasons, but much of the faculty are on break. It's their last bit to escape before all hell breaks loose when football season comes around. Chip Kelly and Scott Frost got a lot of attention for a photo that emerged from them being in Spain, running with the Bulls in Pamplona. Actually, I'm sure that was actually the Bulls running away from the aura of Chip Kelly, not Chip Kelly running from the Bulls. That, that had to have been the case, right? There was some odd news in Oregon baseball with the announcement that Aaron Jones has decided to quit baseball to pursue becoming a firefighter. Jones has been the best offensive player for Oregon over the last two years, and he was picked in the 18th round of the Major League Baseball draft this year, but he chose instead to pursue a, a career as a firefighter. So best of luck to him and his pursuits. It does raise a few eyebrows, but uh, meh, details. With all the postseason accolades all given out for the 2011-2012 season, now it's on to preseason watch lists for the 2012-2013 year that starts in August. Numerous Duck players have been named to preseason lists for various awards in multiple sports, especially football. It seems every day right now there's a new watch list announcement of some player being honored as a potential candidate for a end of the year award. Peronis Grassou is named to the Remington watch list. That's the award given out to the best center in the country each year. Kenyon Barner and D'Anthony Thomas were both named to the Maxwell Award watch list. Dion Jordan and John Boyette were both named to the Bednarik Award watch list, and DeAnthony Thomas was named to the Walter Camp Award watch list. I'm sure there's some others I'm probably forgetting too. There was some sad news from football too, uh, though not unexpected. Senior wide receiver Justin Hoffman, he's been forced to retire due to concussion issues. He was a, a local walk-on who developed a nice little niche with the team as one of the most reliable set of hands on the squad. He earned playing time last year until concussion sidelined him. He's staying on with the team as a graduate assistant, and hopefully that's the first step to a long coaching career for Justin Hoffman. He's one in just a string of recent forced retirees that we've, uh, we've seen between Blake Cantu and Curtis White, and now, unfortunately, Justin Hoffman as well. It's, it's a great sport, but it can be a rough sport too. There was also some cool news that broke last week. Everyone's favorite duck, Kenny Wheaton. He was elected to the SB Nation College Football Hall of Fame's inaugural class. That may not be on the same par as being elected to the Oregon Hall of Fame. In fact, I think Kenny is the only two-time inductee to the Oregon Hall of Fame, both as a member of the 1994 football team and as an individual. But I spoke to Kenny last week and he'll definitely gladly accept it. So Kenny Wheaton, Oregon legend, and now three-time Oregon Hall of Famer. Also, the Pac-12 Network is launching very soon. It's only a couple weeks away now. They put out a new video that promotes their affiliation with the University of Oregon, and they were actually up on campus this past week, filming some segments for their programming. 
I'm certainly looking forward to it, though the question remains as to if I will actually get it as a current DirecTV subscriber. So the countdown is on as to whether I'm staying with DirecTV or switching to Time Warner who will be carrying the Pac-12 network. We'll see. Come on, do the smart thing. DirecTV, pick up the Pac-12 network. We are 40 days away from the start of football. We're 19 days away from the first women's volleyball match, 18 days away from the launch of the Pac-12 network, and only three days away from the start of the Summer Olympics where 10 Oregon Ducks will be competing for Olympic gold in London, England. And there's a couple cool events coming up soon for Duck fans to check out. Now, if you recall last year, there was one in a whole line of Oregon Duck songs, a track called O Time, created by Exile, as well as Fish Duck contributor Jared Sawyer. Uh, they are back with yet another song, another music video that will be uh, the theme song for all Oregon tailgate parties for this upcoming year. It's called Gotta Get It and they are doing a couple premiere parties. So if you want to get a first look at their new video, Gotta Get It, there's a couple chances before it ends up online for everyone to access. Now, if you're in Portland on Thursday, August 2nd at 6 p.m., they will be at On Deck Sports Bar and Grill. That's at 910 Northwest 14th Avenue, premiering the Oregon Ducks video. If you can't make it up to Portland, on Saturday in Eugene, they will be at 6th Street Bar and Grill at 7 p.m. Saturday, August 4th. So stop on by Portland on Thursday, Eugene on Saturday. Gotta get it. As for fishduck.com, there's been a lot going on in the last two weeks. People have been clamoring for us to start dissecting the Oregon defense, and we did just that with our most recent fish duck video, where Charles took a look at Oregon's 3-4 hybrid defense. Now, in addition to that, we had several video interviews. I had an interview with the founder of gridirongirl.org, Nicole Brown. We talked about everything that that site is doing to help educate fans, specifically female football fans, about the joys of the sport. Then this past week, I had the great pleasure to speak with Damon Griffin, one of the best receivers in Oregon history and just a good all-around guy. So check that out at the link. There have, of course, been tons of great articles from our fantastic writing staff. If you want to catch everything that has been on the site, be sure to check our directory section on the front page. That will lead you to all the links of all of our articles, videos, everything that's on the site. We've also been blessed to receive some great guest articles. Each Friday, we'll have an article from a football coach educating us on various aspects of the game. In the last two weeks, we've had articles from an offensive coordinator breaking down the mindset that associate, that's associated with play calling. And also an article from Coach Brian, Brian Flynn from Villanova talking about how to develop a power run game from a shotgun spread offense. Of course, if you want to keep up on all of our articles and videos and everything Fish Duck related, be sure to sign up for our weekly newsletter. We promise we won't endlessly spam you. The sign up is on our front page in the sidebar. Simply enter your email address and we'll keep you up to date on all things fishduck.com. And now my random tweet of the week. Hey, will you shut up? Thank you. Music recommendation time. Well, the last few years, we've seen a great resilience in Americana and bluegrass music, popularizing a genuinely authentic American roots sound with real hard on the sleeve, rustic folk music crossing over into mainstream sounds. Artists like Gillian Welch and Old Crow Medicine Show, the Avett Brothers, and even international groups trying to emulate that same sound to great success like Mumford & Sons. Now the next group to really make a name for themselves in that genre is the Lumineers. So show me family All the blood that I will bleed I don't know where I belong I don't know where I went wrong The Lumineers are a group from Colorado by way of New Jersey. In 2011, the Lumineers put out a self-recorded EP and toured the western U.S. to great fanfare, gaining the attention of Dual Tone Records. They were signed to Dual Tone, and in March of 2012, their debut full-length album was released, and they've been touring ever since, gaining fans wherever they go, and getting a lot of attention with their song, Ho Hey, being used in several national commercial campaigns. You may have actually heard the song, but you weren't sure of the group, so here you go. They're called The Lumineers.
So that's it for me this week. Thanks as always for watching. You know, football is coming soon, we promise. Until then, keep checking back to fishduck.com to get your Oregon Ducks sports fix. Till next time, this is Kurt saying go fish, get hooked, go Ducks.